Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. So it starts to warm up tomorrow. Yeah, it's a little warmer tomorrow, a little brighter, but, but full on summer, like, whoo, hits you when you walk out. It's not until Monday. So, yeah, you know, speaking of mountain biking, have you ever thought about trying it, Brian? I've mountain biked before. Down a, down a ski area, though? Oh. That's I what I mean. I don't mean like going on the bike I, path. <laughs> I would need full on gear. Helmet. Yeah. Okay. I hear pads. it's fun. I've never done it, but oh. I hear it's a blast. I'd be nervous. I like the nice smooth bike yeah, path. Like yeah, a, like the thin bike tires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's going on in Brattleboro. Green lights, flags not moving, a couple of clouds overhead. So it's a quiet night, comfy again. Hey, though, the dew point's up to 57. So as we go through the next couple of days, we tick up in the dew point department. It'll feel a little sticky, nothing that we can't handle, though. Some clouds on Storm Tracker over Michigan. We'll be watching those as they approach, but we're still mixing in more sunshine tomorrow, kind of a 50-50 cloud-sun mix. We're down to 53 in Saranac Lake, where it is calm on Broadway downtown, and the dew points are nice and low still for a little while longer. But I think Thursday night in particular starts to get humid. So sunshine mixing with a few clouds tomorrow morning. Then uh, at lunchtime, many of us could end up mostly cloudy. But I think by later in the day, the sun is blending through. We're in the upper 70s. Feels pretty good. Thursday morning, excellent sunshine. And then watch Thursday late afternoon. Strong to severe thunderstorms across northern New York into northwestern Vermont. Bunch of lightning associated with that band later Thursday. So it might cancel some outdoor activities later in the day Thursday and then Thursday night like in the middle of the night one o'clock Friday morning we've got a good light show for many of us um, from St. Lawrence County up towards about Montreal and northern Vermont this is the front trying to go through and it does go through early on Friday so the Champlain Valley doesn't have thunderstorms during the daytime on Friday it's long gone at that point but southern Vermont central Vermont upper valley New Hampshire likely under the gun for some thunderstorms uh, later in the day Friday. That's kind of where the action will set up. So the Lake Champlain temperature has been kind of flatlining in the last week just because of how chilly it's been, about 65 degrees. But watch how the jet stream surges north after Father's Day. So basically starting Monday of next week, it's way up over the Hudson Bay in Canada. This is way farther north than average for June. And that's how we're just going to pump in the air that just hits you right in the face when you step outside. Again, that starts Monday of next week through much of next week, like this. 88 on Monday, 90s for almost the rest of the weekdays, probably till at least Thursday of next week. So yes, heat wave potential is there, but a ways off at this point. Comfy tonight, 50s for most. Tomorrow, 70s in the Champlain Valley, 72 in Keysville. We've got a 75 for St. J. That'll be nice. Could be a shower, a spot shower near the Connecticut River, but most of us will not see that. So here comes the extended forecast. Did want to show you how uh, Friday goes, 77. But again, remember that front passes through fairly early. Just to show you how the wind goes on Lake Champlain, this is in the morning. It's still out of the south. But in the afternoon, like if you have plans to be out later, on Friday, it's a brisk northwest flow coming over the lake. You'll see the bright sunshine on Saturday, sunshine as well for Father's Day, 77. And then as we push along, it's the next five days that are hot and humid all of next week. Brian, Liz.